Good afternoon, Yorktown, and welcome to the court. Today is November 2nd, 2015. We're coming to you from our headquarters here at Strang Middle School. Let's get things started with a quick update on the afternoon weather conditions with our student meteorologist. Hello, Yorktown. I'm student meteorologist Jason. The time is now 12.30 and the temperature outside is 69. As you can see from the window behind me, we're experiencing no precipitation and the humidity is at 50%. The wind is at one mile per hour and it is a perfect day to go outside and buy my own. Have yourself a wonderful day and let's take it back to you and the studio. Thanks for the update, Jason. Now, Try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Andina, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. Where do orcas hear music? Orchestras. How does a dog stop a video? He presses the pause button. I'm Andina, and this has been the jokes of the day. Let's take it back to you in the studio. Nice job, Andina. Now let's get to know a sixth grade student at Mildred E. Strang Middle School. I'm Dina and I'm on Team Y. The thing I enjoy most about being a student at, at MESMS is that the teachers are nice and that we have more freedom than we had at Crown Pond. My favorite subject is English because I love writing. My favorite hobbies outside of school are um, going to cheerleading and playing basketball. Three words that best describe me are crazy, funny, and athletic. I want to be a famous director when I grow up. That's all about me. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Sunel. Let's go improve our vocabulary with the word of the day. Hi, my name is Ella, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is gullible. Gullible is an adjective. Gullible is defined as easily fooled, tricked, or cheated. Trusting and naive are synonyms for gullible. In a sentence, gullible can be used like this. The gullible Charlie Brown fell for the football trick again. Gullible, can you use it today? Thanks, Ella. Now, let's go to our sports reporters with today's 6 and 60 sports report. Hello, sports fans. We're coming to you from the studio at Strang Middle School with today's sports question. How do you feel about the Mets losing to the Royals? Let's see what some of our sports fans had to say. I'm happy that the Mets lost because I'm a big fan of the Yankees and um, the Mets are rivals to the Yankees, so. I don't care about the championship because I didn't want the Mets to win because they're not my favorite team and I like the Yankees. I feel really bad about the Mets losing. They played really good 12 innings last night, but Harvey made a couple errors and that cost them. I feel that they should have taken Matt Harvey out because he's probably tired after nine innings of pitching, so yeah. I think they should have taken Matt Harvey out of the game last night because he let up a walk and then a double, and then in came the bullpen, which really sucked. That's today, 6 and 60. Let's take it back to you in the studio. Now, let's go to a mom with today's true or false. True or false. The gravitational pull of a black hole is strong enough to suck up light. True. True or false, cats spend an average of five to six hours a day sleeping. False, cats spend an average of 13 to 14 hours a day sleeping. My name is Amon and this has been True or False. Let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Eddie. Motivation can be defined as the general desire of willingness of something to do something. We were wondering, what motivates you? Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. What motivates me is school. What motivates me is when my friends like care about me and look out for me. What motivates me is to have a bunch of fun after school activities. Something that motivates me is getting a good job in my future. What motivates me is probably my dad because he always is saying that you can accomplish what you always want to if you only if you just um think about it and do what is necessary to do it. But yeah. Uh, what motivates me would be basketball because I keep attempting to be better. My parents motivate me to work harder. Something that motivates me is knowing that I can be better at it. Someone who motivates me is Barack Obama. Something that motivates me is listening to my favorite music. 
Something that motivates me to get through the school day is knowing that some days I have an after school activity. Great job kids. Now let's go to Today in History. Hi, my name is Eddie and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On November 2nd, 1947, the Spruce Goose was launched. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on the Spruce Goose. Did you know that the Spruce Goose is the largest aircraft ever built? Did you know that the Spruce Goose needed $23 million to be built? Thanks for watching today's Did You Know? Hopefully, now you know. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, your account. My name is Sydney, and today's lesson is from math class. Today in math class, we learned about converting fractions to decimals. When writing fractions to decimals, you write it how you say it. That means if it's 5 tenths as a fraction, you write 5 tenths as a decimal. Another way to do it is to divide the numerator by the denominator. Once again, my name is Sydney, and this has been the lesson of the day. Now, let's take it back to you in the studio. Here at Strang Middle School, we try to be safe, responsible, and respectful throughout the day. Here are some suggestions on how you can help. Hello, Yorktown. On today's episode of Be Your Best, we're going to explore the following situation. You witness a classmate being bullied because of what they're wearing. What can you do? If a classmate was being bullied, I probably would uh, tell the teacher and stick up for him. If a classmate was being bullied, I would probably stand up for that person if they didn't stand up already. Well, if I see a classmate getting bullied, I would probably tell the bully to stop and let the teacher take care of the rest. Um, if I see a classmate being bullied, I would tell a teacher. I can tell the teacher that they're being bullied. Thanks for helping out, kids. Remember, the easy way isn't always the right way. When you're put to the test, try your hardest and be your best. Thanks, kids. That's our show for November 2nd, 2015. We would like to thank all the students who contributed to today's episode. Please join us again tomorrow if you can. And until then, remember to be safe, responsible, and respectful.